Welcome back. Let's find out if we've got anything wrong so far. For that, we go to TV's Andy Levy. Thanks, Greg. You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. I just, okay. I, think I'm, I think I'm coming down with something. Really? Yes, you can hear it in my voice. A little bit, yeah. 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 A little bronchitis, probably. Little, yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Might, might be uh, MRSA. You don't know. You know, I, I talked to a doctor yesterday, and he told me how you got it. How's that? Shaving. He it, says that's possible. He says uh, he's had three patients with MRSA, and they got yeah. it from shaving. No, that's entirely possible. I win, then. Uh, Greg, you played the clip of the gesture that Kane said he made where he held his hand up here and said, yeah. uh, you're as tall as my wife to the woman. Right. And then you said it was offensive to you because you're that height? Yes. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> didn't see that one coming in. No, Frankly, I thought you could have aimed higher. Oh. I could, but I didn't want to go over your head. Yow. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> uh, also, Greg, you mentioned that according to the Washington Post, one of the women wants to tell her side of the story, but is barred by a confidentiality agreement. A couple things. According to the same article, the woman's attorney, Joel Bennett, is calling for the National Restaurant Association to release the woman from her agreement. Early Tuesday evening, the NRA released a statement saying, quote, we have seen media reports that attorney Joel Bennett is publicly making requests, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Bennett has not been in contact with the association. If we are contacted by Mr. Bennett, we will respond as appropriate. Mr. Bennett now says he will contact the NRA's general counsel on Wednesday and formally request this. Well, yep. Thanks for the update. Absolutely. That's what you're here for. That is what I'm here for. Not as to be, boring as it could be. Not to be funny or interesting in any way. No. <laughs> nope. We're burning up the minutes here. Yep. Uh, Remy, you said if the woman is released from a non disclosure agreement, she might have to pay back the money. <clears throat> right? Well, I think Greg may have said that. She may cost oh. her money. Okay. And but if she. Go ahead. I was going to say, couldn't, couldn't the NRA, Kane, and the women all get together and decide we're going to release everyone from their NDA, but no one's going to have to give back any money? Sure, they could okay. release her from that provision. Right. If she violates a provision from that agreement, she will no doubt be sued for right. a sum certain that's in that agreement. So yeah. she can't talk unless they allow her to, or she buys the right to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, Graham, I totally get that after what happened to you, you're suspicious of the legitimacy of claims of sexual harassment. And it may well be that Cain didn't do anything wrong. But do you agree that there is such a thing as, as actual real sexual uh, harass harassment, right? I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> don't let Andy show you. All right. All right. <laughs> do you think you would know it if you see it? I hope to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jesse, please apologize to your wife, who is not a six-year-old paraplegic leprechaun. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You, I don't know how you track that down, but <laughs> yeah. good work. Yeah. That's good. I, made, I made some calls. Nice. Well yeah. done. Uh, Bill, great uh, German 999 joke. Haven't seen that on Twitter at all over the last two days. No. Wait, in relation to him saying no, no, yeah. you haven't. Yeah, no, I really have. <laughs> you really, really have not. I that really is. Have. I really have. Right. I really have. You, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. There's no original thought. Yeah, I know. Uh, Remy, you said if Kane's non-disclosure agreement allows him to talk about it on national TV the way he has been, that he should tell the whole story, which is an interesting point. Why has he been able to talk about it even to the extent that he has? That is a, that's a very good point. I, I don't know. That's very unusual, and he may not be permitted to talk about it this way. Yeah. But if he's going to talk about it, I strongly believe he has to say what it is. Yeah. Because I can't imagine it being so bad that he couldn't recover from it. But the lying, the cover-up, is always what will get you. Right. Okay. Mm. Uh, here's the thing about Kane. In an interview uh, with PBS NewsHour, he was asked if he considers China to be a military threat. He answered yes. Good for him. But as part of the answer, he said, quote, they've indicated that they're trying to develop nuclear capability. Mm. They've yeah. had nukes since the 1960s, yeah. have anywhere between 200 and 400 nukes right now, including some that can actually reach the U.S. See, that stuff scares me a lot more than these sexual harassment claims. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yes. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> yeah. uh, Occupy Wall Street. Greg, again, we're going to get into it. I don't know why you continue to bash the occupiers and play up allegations <laughs> of rape, sexual assault, and theft. Don't you know the narrative has already been written, Greg? Occupy Wall Street is the modern-day equivalent of the civil rights movement. The occupiers are American heroes. Get on board, Greg. <laughs> oh, you have convinced me. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Remy, you said you're not going to take the word of drunken homeless people over the NYPD. Don't you do that for a living? <laughs> oh, I was going to compliment you tonight, but not anymore. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Damn it. No, Just send if they're one of your drunken, clients. 
if they're drunk and they're homeless, quite frankly, they're probably working with a lawyer they don't have to pay. So no. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, you're one of those lawyers. You're the 1%, aren't you? <laughs> God, no. Many of my clients wow. are. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> All right. Get some full disclosure here. Uh, Jesse, you said if you look at the math in the Fox News poll, which asks parents if they'd rather have their child grow up to be a Wall Street exec or an occupier, the answers add up to 92%, yeah. which you think for purposes of a joke or possibly for real Jesse I just don't know <laughs> means that 8% of parents don't want their kid to grow up mm -hmm. on the on the in in case you actually think that for real I want you to know that I believe 8% answered don't know hmm yeah something to think about Jesse it's fun having a conversation with you where it looks like we're both standing shoulder to shoulder staring straight ahead yes <laughs> <laughs> this is actually how I hold most of my conversation <laughs> nice. you just you get used to it after after four and a half years of doing this that's really weird you always in the in the hallways you always have us go into the bathroom and just we stand side by side looking at the mirror <laughs> yeah and this is how we talk yeah, yeah. it's weird no I, I kind of like it yeah I don't know. Uh, South Carolina sheriff tells women women to get concealed uh, carry permits. Graham, you said you think all women should have firearms and use them when they're sexually harassed. Correct. And then you said, yeah, shoot me, baby. <laughs> it's, it's using words like baby that might be what's getting you into trouble, Graham. I think it was my, uh, my latest novel. <laughs> I, I, much like you in sexual harassment, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but admit you're hungry. Yeah. Uh, Remy, you said you think the sheriff is out of his mind. Remy, 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 Remy. Andy, Andy, Andy. <laughs> That's all I got. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, no, right in all then. seriousness, Remy, why do you hate everything America stands for? <laughs> I believe in our system. I believe in the right mm. to bear arms. I don't think that everyone should be walking around with a gun concealed mm. on their person, which is why in many states you can't do that. Who okay. should be allowed? It doesn't make Remy. for safe. The people that should be carrying guns, uh -huh. law enforcement, people who are trained, that's their okay, job. But it's, it's quite, is this because you're afraid that if women defend themselves, you'll have fewer criminals to defend in court, so you'll make less money? Are you just that selfish? No. I think that the average person trying to defend themselves with a gun is going to end up hurting themselves, innocent bystanders, and they're not going to be stopping crimes the way a law, a law enforcement officer would. Utter nonsense. And I have nothing to back that up except I know it in my heart. Oh, that, makes, that means that I'm correct. No, no really you're not correct. You're not. Uh, and just lastly, Bill, the, the fact is, is that every time a state makes it easier to get a gun or to carry a concealed weapon, liberals start screaming that the sky is falling and it's going to turn into the Wild West and gun crime is going to go up. And guess what? Every single time a state makes it easier to get guns or to carry guns, gun crime goes down or at worst stays flat. You didn't hear what I said. I said that might be true, but one might not have it anything true. to do with the other. It is true. It may not, point, it may not, it may not, it may not have anything to do with each other, but the fact is all the, all the claims that gun crime is going to skyrocket don't come to pass. I never claimed that it would. But you do, in, but you believe, you believe that because you're a, you're a sniveling little liberal wussy See, rat here's, boy. The, here's what we've learned today, Remy. <laughs> you ask him a couple more follow-ups and he mm -hmm. deflates like the balloon wait, head wait. that he is. No, no, look not at how all. many, look at how many more gun deaths there have been since we invented the polio vaccine. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. See what also, I'm saying? Also, Jesse, a lot more plane crashes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Is that why you only travel by motorcycle? <laughs> <laughs> and his gun is sawed off. That's right. He's and I would like. Backpack. I have been had it in weeks in the shop to get the tiniest sidecar ever, so you can join me <laughs> oh! on the road. Jesse, I actually I like your jacket a lot. Thank you. I'm not sure about the Captain Russia T-shirt, but I like the jacket. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Whatever. It is Captain mm -hmm. Russia. I can't yeah. win it all. So. Okay. Thanks. Back to you, Greg. That's uh, considered a bullseye for some certain practices he does late at night. Thank you, Andy. Coming up, Ben Kingsley is dead. Tired of people calling him Gandhi on the street. That was years ago, people. He's moved on. But first, what did we learn from Obama's, what did we learn from Obama's latest physical? Well, that he's in great shape for someone not born here. <laughs>